Leo's welcome to your heart spread read for November 2021. This is a reading of who you have on your mind and who you have in your heart. It's an eight card read. Ends up taking on the shape of a heart. We're going to look at you and your person. Get some advice. Advice from spirit on the relationship as a whole and an outcome. Typically, it'll get to the heart of the matter. Using the ethereal visions of illuminated tarot deck. Um, running behind, so thank you for bearing with me. I'm physically, I'm, a lot of issues. It's not Mexico's fault. It's science fiction, you know, it hits me all the time. Uh, not immune here. In fact, you know, uh, human uh, can make it act up. But it's a beautiful evening. This evening is not even hot. Thank God's quiet. You can hear thunder rumbling. Let's see if it gets close. It's a pretty hit or miss chance of a thunderstorm hitting. Um, which may or may not drive me in. Well, let's see. Otherwise, thank you guys for joining me. It's very peaceful. Uh, do check out the Soul Family Read if you haven't. I'll put a link to all the other reads. It's a collective read for whoever resonates. See if you uh, might want to be a part of that. Manifestation, spirituality, more emphasized. More of a romantic love relationship read. Okay, guys. Here we go. Thunder rumbling in the background. Hmm. Page of Swords. So this Page of Swords uh, comes, your inner, this is your energy coming into the relationship, kind of where you're at in and of yourself, uh, around love and relationships and um, I kind of tried to detach that from your person for a minute and just kind of get a baseline as to where you're at. Um, this would speak to a younger person or if you're an older person, you have a particular question like on your mind about uh, relationships. Like, I mean, it could be something as little as like whenever you meet someone of the opposite sex, you, sex you have to know uh, or of interest as it were, whatever sex. Uh, you, you want to know, you know, are you married, you know, uh, have you been married, uh, I mean, it could be anything like that, um, and kind of looking behind, you know, it sort of just kind of implies, like, it's uh, not a good energy, I'll compare this to your person's energy coming in, to me, it's uh, a little bit hesitant, it's not, not bad, necessarily, it shows some interest, like, you want to communicate, you know, but it's a little, you know, defensive um, um, uh, kind of energy, you know. It might be a little bit immature, a um, little wounded feeling, something like that. Defensive because of having been wounded. They come in with major kana, so that's a big deal. It's major kana, uh, judgment. Um, I don't know, I don't want to say this is good or bad energy to come in a relationship with, but... Um, again, trying to separate them, see where they're at here. Leo's in and around love and relationships apart from you and how they feel about you, which I'll look at next. Um, you know, this is being called up. So this is all, this, we'll see this in astrology in the transits. Um, this could be a Neptune transit. This could be Pluto being called up to some higher purpose, some something. It's usually something we really don't want to do or else we wouldn't be doing it, you know? And it can be represented by North Node energy, which takes a while to grow into, um, and something that to us innately may feel like, you know, really not much interested. Maybe it's unconditional love, you know? We're like, mm, you know, I mean, I'm not Mother Teresa here, sorry. Unconditional love is, not my thing and then unconditional love calls you up at some point and you kind of realize shit you know they it is my circus they are monkeys that is my thing <laughs> uh, um, so it's intense i think it'd be good for you to if that resonates at all make sure you kind of understand what it is they're dealing with um, because um it's transformative energy you know it's the kind of thing that they, they would be at a point where they, they could easily, their whole lives could be getting shook up, you know, changes. Um, 
a theme around freedom, but might be a difficult time for them. Knight of Wands. Now we look at where are you in terms of them. How are you feeling about them? Now that you're interacting with them, how's that making you feel? And I'm gonna tell you right now, you're turned on. If this is your read, you're not turned on, I'm sorry. Do check out the Soul Family read and also do a singles read called Meet the Soul Me. Okay, sorry we're a day behind. We'll play catch up all week. But this is being hot to trot. This is being very into them. Um, it's like, it, you, this is like literally the Page of Swords and now to you becoming towards them, the King, Knight of Wands. Is you're kind of both coy and you're like, yeah, I don't know if I'm even really interested. And maybe they had to really kind of uh, come on to you. Uh, but now once that you kind of interact with them, it's like they light you up. And you're like, brum, brum, brum. Uh, if you're cross watching, uh, hello, you know, um, there they come. Um, and that could well be Leo energy, you know, let's say. Man's a, I want so I like it because anytime to me that you can be yourself and towards a person I mean who knows if you're gonna get married and live together forever or whatever um, that's pretty cool energy to have you know you gotta start somewhere now and towards you they're gonna have the magician energy that's how they're feeling Gemini energy I'm gonna take a second with this because this is some shit right here. Okay. I was, this is what comes to mind. They're stalling. The way they're acting towards you, they're stalling. But it's like a strategic stall. You know, the physical uh, symbol would be like a stunt plane where they strategically fall and then write themselves and go um, stalling and you know hanged man energy they know what they're doing with this magician I'll say this about this I hope this reading could help like yeah we got free will so if this resonates then let them read what watch it with you ideally it would be cool but share it with them you know what well, I'm clarifying that and it's like because I don't know if they they're talking to you about this but here's my deal with this Leo um, they care about you and they care about the relationship I don't know how manipulative the magician is here it could just be manifesting you know um, and you're still coming in with the knight of wands like I said just it, my thing is like you have it is it not not to sound like it, that, that crude about it but does it feel good like if it doesn't feel good, no. If it does, yes. And it's like you feel it feels good to you. But they're complex here, guys. No doubt. No doubt. You know, they're doing something. They're doing something. Like they know what they're doing. They're doing something. I'm just saying it may not be nefarious or anything. But I'm thinking it'd be really cool to talk about it. And maybe you guys haven't talked about it, you know. Maybe after you exhaust yourselves with great sex type of energy, then talk about it. Okay, Five of Pentacles. Now, this is your advice toward the person coming underneath of this Knight of Wands. I'm going to tell you what this is. This is a, a very direct uh, message here for Leo. Do, do not give this person money. Um, it's not a good... Just it's very clear. Um, in fact, you know, I, I, I think it's kind of trying to tell you. This is the message of spirit for you towards your person um, to... Um, you know, husband your resources and pull back and be a little stingy. Um, and it's financial here. Now let's see your person here, Nine of Pentacles. And kind of what that's saying, this is Spirit's message to your person if you're cross-watching. Leo, if you share this with them, you know, their message is also very clear. Take care of yourself. Nine of Pentacles, the happy bachelor, someone that's independent, self-contained, able to take care of themselves you know uh energy and suggesting that would be good for them um so it definitely shows to me this kind of uh if nothing else 
there's some kind of break here. Hmm. My God, and the four of pentacles. Coming between the five of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. The four of pentacles. It's kind of like what I'm saying about their magician hangman judgment deal up here, okay? Like, that's a lot of shit they got going on, and a lot of it's towards you. So, they're thinking about you, and you're a big deal in their life here. Um, and, you know, this is coming in, this energy. All of this is advice from spirit. And what is this? It's all about grounding and stuff. Um, and about, you know, this could definitely be about finances, about balancing the things, the budget, balancing the energy. It's definitely telling, it's literally telling you uh, that create this kind of four of pentacles here um, is holding on to your value, but it's in the core of the crux of the heart here. Um, I think that's like creating some kind of firm foundation, you know, that's from both of you. Um, and it's really about about things, you know. Let me see what I get. Uh, death on the bottom of the deck. I do read that lightly. It, trans, their judgment here, they're in the middle of a transformation. I mean, they may know this. That's why they're putting you off. They could be the kind of person, Leo, that manifests, that's spiritual, whatever. Uh, I think they might have a lot of awareness. But it's like Saturn here, man. It's like... It's, you're being both told, it's like, you're going to have to take care of this Saturn structure stuff, having to finance this practical things. I mean, in a relationship, this could be where to live, jobs, everything um, real um, that comes into creating like a home. Imagine this fourth house, just the fourth house down here. Not because it's a four of pentacles, because it's in the advice from spirit for the relationship of the whole crux of the heart and the two of pentacles it's kind of amazing it's like a relationship that's it's demanding a lot of work guys this is not a real lot uh, you come in you're really hot for them and I think uh, it, it could be a little bit of the case I don't know if you bit off more than you can chew but by now you're realizing there's a lot to them um, and I think uh, they're trying to balance their end of it. And Spirit's kind of asking you to have patience and kind of be more of a miser um, with your core energy and even your physical, um, you know, like, honestly, just money and stuff. There's an energy deal here. It's not about, like, uh, not being a good guy or something. Um, uh, to, to create this solid... I mean, the outcome is two of pentacles. Um, you can have a relationship if you want it, um, but it's gonna be a relationship that, uh, it's like, it's gonna require like hands-on day-to-day, like care and maintenance, honestly. Um, but two of pentacles, I don't think it's about a choice there. It's about balancing, you see they're balancing here. Uh, both, both of you being in a relationship in a balanced way and it implies to me and you come in with the page of swords Leo could be a younger Leo and in any case you know could be coming in with a kind of naive younger energy and um, this might be your first time really balancing a real relationship which changes your life you know you go from being just this me <laughs> to us and it's everything to me with the relationship channel uh, it's 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 the world card. It's you know the death card. It's a it is a transformation. You know, I don't say it's good or bad. I mean, you might go the other way. But definitely something changes, and you know this is a relationship where you two would be just kind of building it and working it like from the ground up. You know, uh, maybe that's part of what's being asked here. This balance. So uh, both of you put kind of the same amount in. Um, if you notice, your five of pentacles plus the four of pentacles equals their nine of pentacles. And then you end up balanced with the two of pentacles. So 
I call this like a nuts and bolts sort of relationship, you know, which doesn't mean it's not karmic. It means it's shit, time karmic. Because all of this Saturn stuff, look at Saturn, the composite, Saturn, and sinistry, Saturn, and your natals. And, you know, you got to give unto Caesar what is Caesar's. You'll learn that sooner or later about Saturn. Um, you might as well just kind of like realize, like, yeah, you kind of got to give Saturn its due. And this is an opportunity to do that. You'd be like building this relationship in a very personal way, each of you with your own personal energy from, from very much from the ground up, from a clean slate. Thank you guys. If you like, thumbs up, appreciate it. Um, do subscribe, it helps me a lot. Feel free to comment, that helps. Having a good one.